Wednesday the 23rd of August and as you can see I have a beautiful sweaty glow about me and no I haven't just done cardio I've got my period and when I get my period I sweat profusely a lot of girls message me asking me about how you get past the time of the month and all the cravings and to be honest last night I gave in to my cravings because sometimes that happens when I've got my period I feel very hot and sweaty I get headachey I'm extremely tired the last thing I want to do is go to the gym I'm extremely grumpy I'm short-tempered yes I'm a pleasure to be around I actually had the comparison of being like a werewolf that you literally can feel it coming you can feel the pull of the period you can feel it inside you before it even happens the beast is being released so as I said yesterday, I did give in to my cravings and because I was PMTing, I felt really, really bad about it. And I just felt like crying and that I just ruined all the progress I've made over the last couple of weeks and the usual regret instantly of eating the wrong foods. But today, I'm not giving in. I'm getting over it and I'm getting past it. And as Amanda Bucci has said recently, it's not about getting back on the diet, it's about getting back to normal and getting back to tracking your food. And I totally agree with that. A lot of people put pressure on yourself to get back to the diet. And when you put that word diet in there, it just, it kind of has a negative connotation. So we need to stop saying getting back to the diet. We're just getting back to our normal lifestyle, which is instead of punishing yourself for having a treat or like I did last night, eating the wrong foods because I was PMTing and craving them, we are going to just say that we're getting back to normal. So we're not going to punish ourselves. We're just going to get back to our cardio and our training and tracking and hitting your macros, whatever they may be. It's about 11 a.m. I think now, so I'm going to do my cardio. I've got a lash appointment at 2.30 and I'm going to hopefully get to the gym before my lash appointment. Last week I filmed my gluten hamstring workout and today of course that is what I'm due to do. So I'm not going to film my workout today. And then later on I'm going to make myself some nice sweet treats to have to kind of fulfill those period cravings. And hopefully you'll be able to incorporate them into your period. I never thought I'd say that sentence. So I am officially a sweaty mess, but I feel like at least I've burned off some of the calories from yesterday. And now I'm gonna get showered and have some breakfast. Okay, rocks. Chum. He's gonna be such a good dad. Do an ugly fairy baby. His leggings. They're awesome. The no, Christmas leggings. She actually looks so happy. It's not nearly Christmas. What time is it, Ross? Don't get her excited. Oh, it's Christmas. It's Christmas. Oh, oh, do you know, do you know, oh, do you know what happens at Christmas? Right, I'll tell you. There's biscuits and biscuits and uh, biscuits. <laughs> You're getting involved, Bales. It's a real funny game that Roxy doesn't like. Pug clock. She just really wants to lick your face. I know. You smell like fish. <laughs> Some bathing like a normal dog does, like lying on a mat. Whereas Roxy is getting the luxury treatment. I want you to see how sweaty my crotch is. Look, I literally have sweaty crotch. That's how cardio goes, you get a sweaty crotch. You just do it until your crotch sweats and then you know you've done enough cardio. I've just finished breakfast and now I'm about to make a snack for later, a sweet snack. So what you will need is some cottage cheese. I get the fat-free natural cottage cheese, I just get this in Asda. And then you need some sugar-free raspberry flavoured jelly. Now you can get this from anywhere, and it's just granules. And then some dark chocolate chips. And all you're going to do is raspberry jelly plus 250ml of hot water and a tub of cottage cheese. And that's it. 
250 grams in this. You're gonna blitz it in your Nutrin Ninja. And then at the end, we're gonna add in just like 15 grams of these chocolate chips. Blitz them a little bit, and then we're gonna put them in these ramekins. Put them in the fridge. And then later on, we will have a mousse. And it's going to be like a raspberry dark chocolate mousse. And it's going to be a delicious. Thought I'd share this with you guys. I got this new kitchen scales. It has a minus function. Now, minus functions are really good for when you're weighing things out of a container, like peanut butter or butter. Roxy. I'll link it below because I have found it very difficult to find good scales with a minus function. And it is very, very convenient. So I've just blitzed up the warm water cottage cheese and the granules and now I'm going to add in the dark chocolate chips but I'm literally just going to blitz them for like two seconds because you don't want them to go really bitty. You want them to be only semi kind of blitz. Now I have the chocolate chips in the raspberry so it's a raspberry chocolate chip mousse and you can see it's still liquid. I'm going to put it into the ramekins. I have got six ramekins and I'm gonna try and evenly distribute it. I'll use the weighing scales to try and get it evenly distributed throughout. I'm thinking it will be about 90 grams of each into each ramekin. And then you just simply put it in the fridge and wait for it to set. And then you have a beautiful high protein mousse. So here we have pre-fridge our raspberry chocolate mousse. And I've just sprinkled it with some dark cocoa. A lot of people crave chocolate during their period, so hopefully the dark chocolate chips that I've put into my little raspberry mousses will help quell those cravings. Now I'm gonna go and get showered because I'm still a sweaty mess, and I have a lash appointment in about 45 minutes, and it takes about 20 minutes to get there, so I need to get showered and changed, and then I'm going to hit the gym afterwards, and then we'll come back and make some dinner. So I've just had my lashes done, and I'm hitting the gym. I don't have time to talk because I'm on Af Peak membership, and I have like a minute to get in the door, but I will chat you after my workout and let you know how I go. I'm still feeling really icky, really headachy, cramps and not feeling very well at all but I'm going to do it. I'm back to being sweaty I've just completed my glute and hamstring workout and it's very warm today anyway and then I'm extra sweaty and then I've done cardio and a leg workout so I'm just I just can't not sweat today it's gross but I have successfully done my cardio I've successfully hit my targets today I've made some healthy high protein treats to enjoy later to try and overcome the cravings what I wanted to talk about today was being a victim and being a victim to your period and just being a victim generally in life when you put yourself in the position of being a victim and feeling sorry for yourself you are never going to achieve anything you're putting yourself down you're lowering your own expectations of yourself by doing this instead of being a victim of negative circumstances not just like having your period like you get your period every month you can feel sorry for yourself all you want but it's never going to change you're a woman you are going through this cycle it's part of life it's part of creating life so we just have to get over it and suck it up and move on but just generally in life when you're a victim if you're a victim to bullying if you're a victim to people who think they're superior to you you are never going to achieve anything moral of the story is you need to rise above all negative circumstances do not be a victim do not reduce yourself down to the levels that people put you at. When someone tells you you can't do something, prove them wrong. I've been in from the gym for about two hours and I'm just about to make some dinner. So I'm gonna make a cottage pie. I've made this before on my channel, so I will link it at the end and in the description below for my cottage pie. This top that I'm wearing today, as you can see, it's kind of a low back vest. It's all twisted and it's kind of lightweight. I have it tied up because I kind of like them a little bit shorter rather than hanging down. It's in an extra small and these are releasing tomorrow on Gymshark. I'll link my link down below if you want to purchase it. Thank you for anyone that does use my Gymshark link. It's directly linked to me and it just kind of promotes me as an athlete and shows them the activity that I receive through my videos on my Instagram. So thank you very much for using my link. Now getting down to dinner, I'm going to be using cottage pie. So it's carrot, onion, I'm going to put some peas in it. 
I am using some minced beef, but if you want to make a vegetarian version of it, you can just simply use some corn, some minced corn, and then you have a vegetarian cottage pie. Very simple. And I will be adding some mashed potato on top and maybe some cheese, put it in the oven, and it's just a lovely family kind of wholesome dinner for everyone to enjoy. Here is my cottage pie. You can see all the gravy coming up little layers i used some regular mashed potato and sweet potato on this one and then i put some of the low fat protein cheese from muscle food on top just to give it a nice crispy topping lex is really bad for eating vegetables so like a child i like to hide vegetables in his food and things like cottage pies and bolognese and chilies are a great way of getting vegetables into him because it's all about getting those micros in as well i think there's a real misconception about flexible dieting that it's unhealthy and that because you're flexible dieting that you're eating just pop tarts and cereal and crappy food in reality flexible dieting gives you the flexibility to eat what you want but you don't necessarily have to eat crap you can eat whatever way you want and i choose to eat a lot of unprocessed freshly prepared foods i'm just about to eat Eat my raspberry chocolate mousse and it looks pretty set so you can see the moussey texture to it oh, it's set the whole way through taste test mmm yeah that's good you can taste the raspberry and you can taste the chocolate you can also add different things in and change the flavors. So I used a raspberry flavored jelly. I've previously used lemon lime and sprinkled it with coconut and it kind of has that nice coconutty tropical taste. You can also use white chocolate chips, whatever you want, mix and match it, add in blueberries, add in different things into the mixture as you're making it in the ramekin and just alter the macros accordingly. Very simple, very easy and a nice little treat for after dinner. Ain't nobody paying, I'll be buying the